drugged. We've been drugged. Binge pipe. The following binge pipe content is sponsored by Mystaxis, the number one over-the-counter medication that prevents nosebleeds caused by telekinesis. If you want peace... Binge Pipe is not getting any younger, so we might as well bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the number one subscription service you are too lazy to cancel. Cookie Masters in here. You know, I'm banned from every zoo east of the Mississippi River. But don't worry, it's for a much weirder reason than you think. Eight players, huh? Well, statistically speaking, one of you will be suffering male pattern baldness by question four. And so it begins. Start the game. Time for question one. First, the room with the view. What line of dialogue would you hear from Tommy Wiseau in a terrible movie called The Room? Oh, hi, toe jam. Oh, hi, belly button lint. Oh, hi, eye gunk. Or, oh, hi, dried snot. Who picked what? Oh, bye, points. <coughs> Room is a fancy name for those gunky things that form on your eyes when you sleep. As seen in the Academy Award winning The Disaster Ophthalmologist. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. Masked Flusaders. Which icky superhero is most likely to be a carrier of Lyme disease? Batman, Ant Man, Spider Man, or The Tick? Hope you like what you picked. Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease. These communicable diseases are why I avoid shared superhero universes. Why don't we do it with three? It's time for just one more, and I hope you're not driving because it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a drink that contains scotch or a movie that contains Sean Connery. Answer quick. You'll only have a few seconds to choose between a scotch cocktail or Sean Connery. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. All set? Here we go. Rob Roy. Most of you nailed that. All right, let's move on. I don't need you anymore. Feast your eyes upon this. When life gives you Lululemons. How would Socrates respond to my assertion that leggings are pants? Leggings are just leggings. Leggings are pants, but not in the office. But are all pants leggings? Or leggings, pants, it matters not. I love this part. Um, you might be thinking of Yoda?
Greek philosopher Socrates was famous for using the Socratic method, wherein he would ask a series of probing questions in order to find a contradiction in the original belief. Just like how I walk into a Lululemon and say, is this really how much leggings cost? There is no hiding from squid goals. What would you call a portable media player for squids? An eye arthropod, an eye cephalopod, an eye poropod, or an eye diplopod? So who got it? Nope, not this one. <laughs> Squids are members of the cephalopoda class of the phylum mollusca, making them, well, cephalopods. Now I just have to figure out where their ears are. That's the end of round one. Numbers don't lie. Let's take a look. Currently, player one is in the lead. And down here, these players could use a little help. And there's no shame in that. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? I am feeling joy. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up, is that a gyroid in your pocket? Which Animal Crossing character would not be able to store the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in its own pocket? Alice the koala, Leaf the sloth, Marcy the kangaroo, or Pascal the otter? How do we do? Sloths don't have pockets or pouches. They're also really slow to return your friend request. La vie est un canard. Set. Why not try? He does not skip wing day. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a deep miss, miss none. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and tell me what movie title it rhymes with. We pick the swole B. And don't worry about that punctuation. I'm talking about myself. of guy <laughs> Okay, what was it? Let's get on with it, shall we? Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Take a good look at... When I mentioned the anaconda, it was not a euphemism. How long was the longest snake ever discovered? Three Nicki Minajes, four and a half... Oh, this'll be good. Okay, player eight just screwed everyone. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. Okay, what'd you pick? Hopefully your score is a grower, not a shower. <laughs> That's just over 25 feet. That's long and strong, but not enough to get the friction on. 
Nicki Minaj is 5'2", and Sir Mix-a-Lot is 5'11". Six of the former and two of the latter would be just under 43 feet, the length of the largest snake fossil ever discovered. This titan boa grew larger than the anaconda because it was less picky. It would gladly accept some whether you had buns or not. Way to screw player eight. This is your cash now. Oh, here's a good one. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Monster. As of 2017, the subject of the most expensive TV show ever made. Octopus, Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Okay, who chose what? Netflix's The Crown, about the life of Queen Elizabeth, costs $130 million per season, making it the most expensive show ever produced. You know, for half that, I can make you a decent show about a Frankenstein octopus. Introducing... Spamalot was already taken. Get out your wallets. The creator of Hamilton is at it again. Suppose Lin-Manuel Miranda's next biographical hip-hop Broadway smash is about the inventor of Spam. What should be the opening chorus? My name is boy inventor Simon Spam. My name is pork genius Jay Hormel. My name is ham-obsessed chef Boyardee. Or my name is meat magnet Charlie Feltman. What'd you guys pick? Jay Hormel is the father of American national treasure, Spam. And there's a million ways my creation can be used in budget-conscious recipes. Uh, honestly, this show writes itself. Ow. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Works every time. Let's see how frequently you can find a right answer. Good luck.
one wins. Way to go, player one. Squeaking by with a win like a mouse with nothing to lose. Way to go. But keep in mind... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. My name is Boy Inventor Simon Spam. My name is Pork Genius J. Hormel. <laughs> My name is Pork Genius J. <laughs> My name is Pork Genius J. Hormel. <laughs> My name is Pork Genius. <laughs> oh, and the other ones are bad too. Oh, hey, I'm obsessed. <laughs> yeah, boy, are you? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. My name is Pork Genius. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 you got me, Tim. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.